Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Point Magoo, California and today we're going to do a video review of Play Arts Kai Kami from Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Look, I'm impressed with this figure. Now, I might have been unduly harsh on my Chun-Li video because I was a little, I don't know, biased? I don't know. Uh, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition Play Arts Kai Volume 2. That was released back in last year sometime. <laughs> yeah, here's the back of the box. Forgot what that action pose is. I'm gonna try to do the spin drive smasher. It was one of my favorite poses because how freaking twisted that girl gets. Goki is the second person on that wave. And unfortunately, there's only been two waves. So you pretty much know Chun Li, Ryu, Goki, Akuma. Yeah. So Square Enix. Nice little product. Let's take a look at the figure. Really awesome, awesome figure. Yeah, uh, this is as best as I could replicate the spin drive smasher. Sorry. So, yeah, it's kind of neat. She does twist in whichever which motion. And yeah, she can definitely stand up. So, I love the torso articulation. That's why I have her all twisted up. If you ever seen the spin drive move, I can't get that leg any more further than that. So, yeah, so as you can see, definite range of articulation comes with this nice little glowing orb so she can does a spin drive smasher yeah it's beautiful kind of like the fireball that Chun Li had so really neat just pops into the foot yeah so all you have to do ball jointed foot there so definitely good articulation comes with a few extras too so I'm gonna show you that right now comes with a different head with an open mouth look at the detail on that the blue eyes yeah uh, comes with two pigtails so all you have to do to remove that is just pop it in and I'll show you that uh, comes with open fist and or sorry closed fist and an open fist so really sparse but you know what I really don't mind that and you know I'm definitely growing warmer on these figures because they really really aren't too bad I thought you know 50 bucks for a figure this size is really not a bad deal especially for the level of detail and quality so you know what if I was a little hard on Chun Li uh, really this really makes up for it and I think it's because I'm have a puny doll with me and I'm going to show you that got a of course has a neck crane it is stiff though and head is on a ball joint the pigtails are on a ball joint too and I'll show you how to actually do these removals the hands they pop in and out this one is tight so usually when I pop it out pops off from the wrist joint so you got great shoulder articulation moves in and out so you get that nice shoulder shrug ball jointed shoulder bicep swivel good pain apps there dual jointed revolt tech type joint there for the elbow ball jointed ball jointed wrist to get that, that revolt tech joint so it definitely moves a lot got a uh, ab crunch and a uh, waist swivel so you can do that nice spin spin drive smasher pose the only thing is that I don't like is that the leg Joe she got some huge legs and as you can see with a Chun Li figure it just pops out so good joint there it does move great mobility uh, double jointed knee so it definitely does have great mobility there uh, ball jointed ankle you know 26 points of articulation that's what it says on the box don't believe me oh I forgot to point that out 20 six points of articulation at least so look at look, looking a lot a lot more rather so yeah she can definitely stand oh and that's another thing i don't like about this is that there is no stand uh unfortunately so yeah there's no doubt about it it's a good looking figure very good posability you can definitely big figure big figure i'll have her standing up over here there she is with a seven inch figure and yeah it's a little bigger than that and let me show you with a deluxe size figure so you can kind of get a size comparison there and put all her there we go so definitely big I'm venture to say uh, I got the ruler over here so I can show you uh, it's almost eight inches tall she's a little shorter than Chun Li Chun Li's a little so there you go for size let me go ahead and show you a little bit too uh, why I like this because I got a puny doll over here that's Tomoe from the Queen's Blade line uh, a little shorter but twice as expensive and not nearly as detailed so I'm really growing on the play or these action figures because it's 50 bucks 
So real quick, if you want to change the face, all you have to do, take the head off. You know, if you want to pop up the fists, all you have to do, yeah, pigtails are kind of tight. So, yeah, just pop it back in. Yeah, and I don't like these joints too much, but, ugh, yeah. And, you know, I like to say, voila, yeah, the pigtail joints are tight. Ball joint and neck, right? Yeah, there she goes. Same thing with the hands, they just pop out. You can swap them back in. So all the criticisms I had about that, the paint apps are good, not bad, uh, not as far, not as good as uh, Chun Li, but nonetheless, a great action figure. Hey, go get this, eight out of ten. Catch y'all next time.